Hey guys, what's up? If that's your first time checking out my channel, what is up? I'm Amy. If you're returning, well, welcome back, guys. So this is not um, going to be a channel's video or anything like that. I just wanted to kind of come on and give my own two senses. I know most of you have saw um, the video I just, not the video, but the, the community tab I just posted about. Um, just the jealousy, the hate that I've just been seeing all over YouTube and just terror eaters in the terror community. Like, you know, I sit here and, you know, I listen and I view and I see and, you know, I never really respond. Um, and here's why I don't respond because I know that there's a lot of people who don't resonate with me and that's fine. I'm not here to resonate with a bunch of people. I'm here to be a light and a voice and a pathway for those that need that extra push, that need that extra direction. So there's a lot of people who don't resonate with me. There's a lot of people who don't um, zinc with me, and that's fine. No, I've been on this journey, the terror journey, for about six years now, seven years. But my channel has been up and running for a good four or five years now and um, I mean at first I never really saw it I never really saw the hate I never really saw you know I would say the last year I've been really recognizing the the hatred the jealousy the the manipulation the the back and forth the you know the drama you know that some readers have against other readers and I never really understood that you know if someone has some beef against me or doesn't like the way I read or thinks I'm less of a reader because I read differently than they do you know that's that's their opinion you know opinions opinions are a dime a dozen you know I'm not gonna let someone's opinion that I've never met keep me from doing what I know is my passion my purpose you know in this life I'm not going to sit here and, you know, allow someone that I don't even know to dictate what I do with my channel. I don't go onto any other reader's channel and do that. You know, even if I don't zinc with you, if I don't feel you, if I don't see you as a spiritual leader or being part of my soul family, I will hop off. You know, I've done it a couple times where I didn't zinc with that reader, I hopped off. But not once will you guys ever, ever hear me talk nasty or dirty or lower my standards or lower myself to talk about another reader even if I don't agree with what they're doing what they're saying you, you, you just never you'll never see that on my channel because that's not me that's not my vibration that's not how I ride that's not what I want to be perceived as so today I witnessed a reader going off on a bunch of people you know I didn't put my two cents in I hopped off but I, I just, there's so much, there's so much tension, there's so much hatred, there's so much, you know, it's, I don't even know, you know, and I felt like I just had to do a video about that because for the people that hear that about themselves, hear that certain readers have that kind of point of view about them, you know, you have to just look in the mirror and say, you know what, I'm going to just shrug this off because of course it hurts. Of course it hurts to hear people say stuff like that about you. But at the end of the day, you have to realize that when someone says something about you, that's that's on them. That's not even anything to do with you, right? So I just look at all of the hatred, all of the, you know, jealousy, the backlash. Um, I kind of just stay out of that. But I, I just felt like kind of coming on here and just in general talking about I, I don't understand it, and maybe you guys understand it more than I do, but, you know, like I said, you'll never see me come on here talking about another reader, even if I disagree with them, or I just don't like something that they do, I'll hop off, because that's their channel, you know? There's a lot of people on here that shouldn't be readers, but I don't, you know, name names or, you know, say certain things. But, oh gosh, you know, there's just so much hatred, so much jealousy. And for what? For what? You know, why, why are we hating? We should be a community of lightworkers helping other people. 
You know, just because someone who has a million subscribers, that person earned that. That person earned that 1 million subscribers. My hat goes off to readers who are 1 million subscribers and up. That That's awesome. That's amazing. I don't get jealous over someone who has a million subscribers because I only have 8,000. No, because I know how hard I've worked to get that $8,000. So I don't look at someone who has, you know, a million subscribers and be like, oh, well, you know, this and this and this about this person. No, I'm in very like, you know, that's me wanting to become better, me wanting to reach more people, me figuring out what do I need to do with my own channel to reach that same subscriber amount, right? I'm always trying to build. I'm always trying to grow. I'm always trying to add. You know, I don't need to be in competition with other readers. I don't need to be someone that I'm not. I am who I am. You know, and that's what I've always portrayed on my channel. You will never get me being someone that I'm not. And if I'm not 100% of a reader, I will not come on here, you know? Some some readers think that, you know, if you read tarot cards, you're not a tarot reader. If you read, you know, homemade cards, you're not a tarot reader. But what makes a tarot reader, right? What makes an intuitive reader? What makes a healer? What makes an empath? You know, it just, people are going to watch you. People are going to be jealous. People are going to talk. And at the end of the day, that's that, right? You, you can only do what you feel in your heart is the right thing to do. And that's just, you know, honestly, keep moving forward. And as a tarot reader, there's so much tarot readers that I respect. And I will continue to respect them. You will never, ever, ever see me on here lowering myself, my worth, my value, or my channel to put down another reader to benefit myself to get more subscribers. You will never see that because, again, someone who has a 1 million subscribers worked hard to get those subscribers. You know, they, they gave out the content. They put the content out there that readers are, you know, gravitating towards. But someone who has 100 subscribers, they're doing their best as well. So I feel like we have to have compassion where compassion needs to be, you know. I don't know, guys. I just, I, I just felt like I needed to kind of just, like, talk about this. Because I just don't understand the animosity of the jealous of the readers, you know. We are all here. We're all doing what we feel like we need to be doing, giving the messages that we need to be giving, whichever way that turns out to be, right? Why do we have to put on other readers to get us ahead? I don't get that. I don't. I don't get how you get ahead. I don't get how you... I, I just... I, I don't. I don't get it. And I feel like for those that are attacked, for those that are hearing their names being slandered, for those that are, you know, hearing about this, this topic, it, like, the only thing I can say is that the people that are talking about you and your channel are the people that really don't like something within themselves, okay? And their anger, their animosity, their jealousy, whatever it is, is, is on them, right? You've got to be the bigger person to say, you know what, I, I'm not going to, I, of course you could do a video about it, right? Of course you could bash this person back, but then you're going to be just like them, right? So at the end of the day, my rant of this video, guys, is nothing special. It's just literally like, you know what, there's just, there comes a time and a place where you say, I'm going to be the bigger person. I'm going to walk away because if it's not one reader, it's going to be another reader and probably another reader after that and subscribers or clients or whatever you guys want to say. You know, there's always going to be hate somewhere. There's always going to be jealousy. But the difference between you and them is that you rise above that. And that's what I have to say. Because um, what I witnessed this afternoon was the most disheartening thing I've just ever witnessed in the terror community. And I will continue to thrive. I will continue to grow. I will continue to reach the people that need to hear my messages. And I honestly could care less about what other readers thought of my channel because I believe in myself and I believe in where I'm going. And so I know that's enough for me. Um, I don't need approval from other people, you know. I just need to know that what I'm doing is what I feel good about. And that's my soul family. That's, you know, my new clients. That's my new subscribers. That's all of my old soul family. That's just everyone. That's my community. 
but I don't need to throw another reader down to make myself feel better. That'll never happen and you'll never see that. And for those that are going through that, just keep shining your light. Okay, love and light guys, then I'll talk to you soon.